Okay, let's do that. And uh, really quickly here. All right, so the, there, there's only a couple types here. Let's talk about sides first, okay? So if, if they are all the same, that means it's equilateral, okay? If mm -hmm. two, two sides same, that's isosceles, okay? And then a little bit more here, uh, no sides the same, that is scalene, okay? So those are your those are your three definitions you have to have down understood uh, so on, and then for the angles, the angles here. Okay, we have a couple of things here. Um, if it's if there's an angle uh, less all less than ninety degrees, okay, so all less than ninety degrees, that's acute one angle equal to 90 degrees, that's right. One angle less, I'm sorry, greater than 90, that's obtuse. Mm -hmm. So you either you either start kind of your your decision making by looking at either the sides or the angles, and then you go. So there's just a little bit more to say about the sides now. Um, so cute, right up to you. You probably already know that from early in the course. So if all the sides are the same, it it is also the case that all angles are the same. And if two sides are the same, then two angles are the same. And you can probably guess here if that no sides are the same, then no angles are the same. So you either look at sides or angles when you're doing this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we can jump back and do some questions based on what we just looked at here. All right, so when you're looking at this triangle, you either are drawn to the sides or the angles. And there's really not a right answer in terms of what to look for, but like what jumps out at you? Mm, only two sides are the same. So that, means, so that means it's isosceles. Isosceles obtuse, isosceles acute. It's obtuse. Ob it is obtuse, and it's that easy. Okay, so here's another one here. Are all the sides the same? Are all the angles the same? Not the same? That's what you're looking for. None of them are the same. So in that case, it's scaling acute, scaling obtuse, or scaling right. Uh, a cube. Yes, because all the angles are less than 90. All right, so same thing here. You're looking at the sides of the angles. They finally tell, finally, oh, sorry. I have to hit the next button, Matthew. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, it's one of those days. All right, take a look at this. It's a right. It's a right. So it's either scaling right, Isosceles, right? What do you see here? Are two of the sides mm -hmm. the same or none of the sides the same? None of the sides are same. So that's scalene. Okay. Go ahead and take a look at this here. Let me know what you come up with. None of the sides are the same. Is it the scalian obtuse? Or it's, a, it's obtuse if there's an angle greater than 90. Oh, um, acute. Yes. All 
All right, so same thing here. What do you see for sides and angles? Oh, they're all the same. Okay, so which one of these words means that? The, it's in a cube. I so, how do you say it? So isosceles is if two of the sides oh. are the same, but all three are the same. Equilateral. Equilateral, yeah. So again, angles or sides, you're drawn to something and Let me scroll down. I guess I didn't give you all the choices. Maybe you could see that there. Um, is it going to be a isosceles? It's definitely isosceles because two sides are the same and two angles are the same. So it's isosceles acute or it's isosceles obtuse or it's isosceles right. So you got to look at the angles. Acute. A Obtuse. So the acutes, if it less than 90, obtuse is if it's greater than 90, meaning the the largest. So an well, acute, it's exactly 90. Okay. So that's a right isosceles. Oh, right. right. So if, if you just saw the 90, oh. you would immediately go to right and right. Okay. But it you know it depends on what you're looking for. Like your eyes are drawn to certain things when you look at these things. And, and, you know, it's not like a right or a wrong. It's just, you know, what stands out to you. So like this one is a 90 degree. So it's either right. Uh, it's either isosceles right or scalene right. You got to pick which one. Either two sides are the same or none are the same. Scalene right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got it. All right. So give this one a look. See what you come up with. Isosceles obtuse. Okay, and what makes it obtuse? Hold on. I'm doing tutoring right now. Um, what was the question? I'm asking you, why is it obtuse? What is it about the triangle that makes this obtuse? It's larger than 90. That. Yes, the angle F is 160 degrees, which is greater than, than 90. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. All right, let's take a look at the next problem here. There we go. Go ahead and take a look at this. It's so right. Okay, I agree. A Q. What makes it acute? Oh, wait, not acute. Right. Um, what is it? Scaling. Okay, so what makes it uh, scaling in this case? There's no matching sides. That's right. All sides are different. And the right 90 degrees makes it a right angle. You got it. All right, so it looks like that's done. 10 out of 10. And we'll move on to, we'll see this draw. This might be, okay, here we go. So draw the vertices to form an equilateral triangle. So an equilateral triangle means that all the sides are the same and all the angles are the same. So this is gonna be maybe, maybe doable here. This is a lot, lot slower than I thought. There it is, okay. So this is equilateral because all the sides are the same and all the angles are the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, and they give you an example here. All right, let's see what the next one is. Scalene obtuse, okay. The obtuse is the first thing to deal with. What does that mean again? Um, over 90. Over 90, so we gotta make one of these over 90. So I don't know, let me try moving that. Okay, so this angle right here is over 90. We're in good shape. 
Scalene means what about the sides? They ought to be different. And that is the case here. So we can go with that. All right. Okay, right triangle, right triangle. So the angle is actually like the better one to go to first. I didn't know if you would naturally start seeing that. Um, right mm -hmm. triangle means one of these is 90 degrees. So let's see if we can get that there. So I've got 90 degrees. What does isosceles mean in this case? Larger than 90. That's a, that's. Um, oh, that's wait, a that's the same, they match. Two of the sides have to match. Now it's going to be the yeah. two legs. So I either, either push this one out to make it match. Well, now I got to draw this one in to match. What do you notice about the angles now in an isosceles right triangle? They're, they're both matching. And yeah, they're 45. They're always 45. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so again, right triangle here. I'm going to move this one to get to 90. There it is. Scalene. What does that mean in terms of the sides? Scalene. They have to be different. Are these different? Does this work as is? Yeah. It does. All right. So drag the vertices of triangle H, I, J to form an isosceles right triangle. Do we have the right triangle part already? Yes. So this is seven, this side up here, and this is eight. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna drag H up until we get to seven. And notice again that the 45 and 45 match, seven and seven match in that case. Mm -hmm. All right. We got five. Okay, we'll come back to this if there's time. Let's go to this next one here. All right. So find angle, find the measure of angle H. I, J. Okay. We have, we have talked a, a lot about uh, isosceles triangles, but this one is isosceles because this line right here and this line right here means the sides are the same. And in, mm -hmm. in some classes, the teacher or students will start saying same sides, same angles. So this 37 is the same as this 37 down here. They're the base angles. Mm -hmm. So this angle down here is 37. Okay. What does that make this angle right here? And keep um, in mind, they all add up to 180. What was the number? 37? 37 is congruent to this other angle. One oh six. One oh six. Now, which one are they asking for? It says H to I to J. Are they asking for this other angle down here, or are they asking for this one over here? Um, the I. Yes, the vert. The, the middle letter tells you the vertex, so it's the I. You said one oh six. Mhm. Mm awesome. All right. Next problem here. Okay. So this time. They're giving you the angle between the two congruent sides. And what you know is that, that the angles down here, they're called the base angles. I and K are base angles, and they're congruent. OK, so since they're mm -hmm. congruent, they're the same. They're exactly the same. So you got to find that angle there on the bottom such that when you double it, you get and the and you double the other one, you get the missing angle here. So let me draw. Let me let me actually jump into the other screen here, um, just to be clear how we're doing this. Uh, let that load up. Did that load up? It did. So think of this as x and x, and they're the same. These angles are the same. So you have x plus x plus 122 equals 180. So whatever whatever you get here when you double it. You add it to 122, you should get to 180 there. What does x equal in this problem? Mm. 
29. 29, good. All right. I'm going to submit that and then I'm going to snip in the next question here because I think these might need uh, a little more explanation uh, until until there we start sort of repeating them. Um, so let me grab the next one here and snip it in. All right, fine measure of angle BDC, B to DC. So we want, they want this one right here. Which angle is this congruent to in the drawing? Um, D. That's right. So we want we want angle D, but what what is it, what angle is it congruent to in this drawing, or in this triangle here? Mm. So in an isosceles oh. tri triangle, when mm -hmm. the, the sides are the same, the angles are the same. Yeah, it's the same as B. This one's 45. What does that make measure of angle C in this case? Mm. All three add up to 180. 90. 90, yeah. All right, let me go ahead and submit that and grab the next one here. Okay, here we go. Fine measure of angle NML. That's that's this one up here. If if angle N is 47, which of the other two angles is 47? Because it's an isosceles triangle. Um L. L. So this time you're missing, and you can use X or you can keep it like as the letter M. So it's M plus 47 plus 47 equals 180. Uh, 94. Uh, that's right. Those two add up to 94, but what is M? What is the value of the missing angle? Eighty-six. Yes, okay. that sounds right. We go ahead and submit that and see. Hopefully, hopefully it just takes that here. Yeah. All right. Good. All right. Let's look at another one here. All right. So now it's switching to sides, and in an isosceles triangle, just like they've got two angles the same, there are also two sides that are the same. Okay. All right, so they want you to find the measure of LM up here. Okay, and the 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 you might look and say, well, how do I even do this? If these two angles are the same, that means that the two sides across from them are the same. So it's sixteen. It's sixteen, yeah. And this is actually an equilateral triangle because all of them are are sixteen. The same. Okay. Let's do one more of these. Then we'll maybe move back, move to something new. How about this one here? What's the missing side? Um, A, B. Okay. And what is its measure? What's the measure of it? Um, I don't know. Okay, so in an isosceles triangle, if the base angles are the same, the sides mm -hmm. across them are also the same. Sixteen. Okay, so the in this problem here, th think of this as ten, and then this is sixteen, which is the oh. See, it, I know you don't have the drawing in front of you, but you would want to draw the arrows uh, across. So this is 10. Okay. Okay, let's try, get back to angles here. Is, is what I've got on the right here, this kind of like same, two sides the same, base angles the same, is that like, are you comfortable with that? Does that because because really uh, this yeah. this next drawing is like that? They're just rotating the the picture to make it 
you know, difficult here. So um, which two angles are congruent in this drawing? G and H. So they've got to be across from the sides. Oh. Or from the angles, sorry. The angles. So, so this H is across from there. E is across from there. So the, these two are congruent. Mm -hmm. So you can call them X if you would like. But you want to set up an equation so that you can find the missing sides. Um, let me know if you need help setting that up. Fifty-four. Okay, so x plus x plus 72 equals 180. So 2x equals uh, 108, x equals 54. Perfect. All right, good job. All right, let me jump to, oh, we can actually do good on time here. We should, we should finish this off, uh, this section, a couple more of these. All right, so find measure of angle O, N, M. That's this one here. Again, always think that the angles are across from the congruent sides. So M and O are, are congruent this time. One twenty-eight. Okay. Uh, so this other one is twenty-six. Oh yeah. Twenty-six, 26 plus twenty-six plus n equals one eighty. Do you want to adjust your answer? One twenty-eight. That's all I keep getting. Say that again. One twenty-eight. One twenty-eight. Good. Okay. Maybe I misunderstood. I wasn't sure. Yes, that is correct. All right. All right. So believe it or not, we're almost there with this one. Two more. I know these are. It's like they give you probably like, I'll say two more than you probably actually need, um, but. That's the way it goes. So find the measure of angle BDC. That's that's this one down here. Is it forty five too? It is. Yeah, because the uh, the the sides are congruent, so the angles are congruent. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, one more, and then we'll be bat. We'll do a different topic. All right, find the measure of psi g to h. That's over here. It's either 25 or 40. What do you say? 25. It is 25, good. All right, so let me submit that and then we'll move on to a new topic here. Last topic of this group is properties of isosceles triangles. Okay, all right, this is... Uh, This is gonna be a little bit harder here. This this requires you to draw the triangle. <clears throat> so what I recommend is looking at the angles first, if they give you the angles first, okay? Because there's a lot of ways you could draw this, but it's, it's kind of better to always draw the same triangle if you can, even if it doesn't make sense. Uh, but this is angle S and this is angle R. If these are congruent, 
that means these two sides are congruent. Would you agree with that? Mm -hmm. And then the missing one is here. Q is here. Okay. Now RS is 15. That's this one here. QR is 20. Now it's just like a problem we've been doing. Is it 20? It is 20. Yeah. Now you could just like, if you were doing this on your own, you could literally just guess, you could just start guessing here and eventually get it right. But if you want to, if you spend 60 seconds drawing it, which is what we're doing, probably have a better shot at getting it, getting it right here. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. So here's a new problem here for us. So again, I would, I recommend drawing it the same way each time. And because it's, because these are all isosceles and this, this tells you it's isosceles, we want to say that these two are congruent. Mm -hmm. Since they both have letter K, they both have letter K, uh -huh. that's up here, K to L, and then K to M. All right, and then uh, we've got this one's 141 degrees. What do we want to find in this problem? Which angle? M. M. And they're both the same. We call these X and X. Mm. What would that be? Nineteen. How did you come up with that? Uh, I subtracted one eighty by one forty one. Okay, and then and that, I divided it into two. Okay, that is all correct. It's, it is not nineteen though. It's, it's nineteen little... point five. Yes, yes, and you know whether your system here would know the difference, I couldn't tell you. But let's give it the full answer, and hopefully it will accepted. All right. Okay, so for this next one here, uh, it's kind of like the last one, not completely, but kind of like the last one here. Um, actually, I guess we'll, we'll draw it together. So do you see that vertice E is matching in both of those? They both have uh, an E in them? Yeah. That's how I decide what to put at the top. And then doesn't matter which one's C and D, but because they're both coming out from there, doing that. It also means they're congruent, okay? Which means that the base angles are congruent. And they're giving you the measure of angle D. Can you tell me the measure of angle C? 34. It's 34, yeah. All right. All right, so this problem right here, I'm going to scroll up here because it's actually very much like this one that we just did in the, the beginning here. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of. It's kind of like that one. It's got, um, so that they're going to, the, in this new problem, they're giving you the ba base angles are the same. So you want to draw mm -hmm. it like this where, like in that case, S and R are there and, and label. So let me have you try this. Okay. On your own. And uh, let me know what you, uh, what you come up with.
Does your triangle look something like this? Mm. No. So, so you always want to start with the base angles and then add the third side, third letter for this for this up here. So then you got all three sides. Then you just label the given information and decide, you know, what is MN in this case? 12. It's 12. Good. All right, let's go put that in. I know these are tough. They require you to draw the triangle and uh, just just keep trying here. We've got plenty of time here to get through all of these. So um, again, try drawing this. Keep in mind that J and J are the same. So that's gonna be the the top. And uh, see what you uh, what you come up with. Twenty-eight. Okay. Let's take a look here. So this is J. Uh, did you go H here and I, or did you switch them? Which where did they? Where did you put? Um. I? Yeah, I did the H there, and then okay. The Good. And so that's these are congruent. Seventy-six, seventy-six, which means J is the missing one up here at the top. That looks good to me. This one's pretty similar. Uh, let's have you try this one again. Let me know what you uh, come up with, please. One thirty four. Okay, let's take a look here. So here's your triangle. Uh, J is up here because they match. Did you put K on the left or I on the left? Um, I put K on the left. K and I. Okay. So this is twenty three degrees. This is twenty three degrees, and we want J. So that's forty six. And 180 minus 46 is 134 degrees. Is that what you said? I'm sorry, I don't remember. Yeah. Awesome. That's really good. Okay, let me get that entered. All right. I would recommend we keep doing these, but that's kind of your your uh, decision here. We're you know kind of last chance to do anything else on this. Uh, so, meaning like we've got 10 minutes, so I don't. It's up to you if you want us to keep going on these. I would recommend that. Um, yeah. All right. Are you finding the ones with sides or angles to be easier? Sides. Yes, totally agree here. So this is W, this is V. They're congruent. Go ahead and see if you can come up with the missing side there. Seventeen. Okay. And UV is seventeen. VW is eleven. That looks good. Okay. One more. Couple more here. Twenty-eight. 
All right, so go ahead and try this one on your own. Just give me your final answer. Eighteen. Okay. Let's say eighteen. Let's just take a quick look here. I and H, and this is J. So J to H is oh. seventeen. I to J is. Ooh. Did I not? I, yeah, this? I did that mess. I messed it up. I feel like I did too, though. It should be. It looks like it should be seventeen, though. I mean, it's one or the other, and it's kind of like true false. No, no partial credit there. Okay. But, uh, it's okay. This is practice. All right. We got one more here. We're at it, it's sitting at eight out of ten, so we got plenty of time here to get the last two. Uh, all right. Go ahead and give this one a try, please. One hundred. Okay. Let's take a look here. So W's up here. We'll go X and V. Forty, forty, and one hundred. Nope. V. Okay, because because we got. Let me just make sure I did this right. W's at the top, so X and V have to go down here. Forty and forty. It's always that matching one that you want to put at the top, and so X is actually forty in this example. Oh, oh, I wasn't paying attention to the end question. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, okay. So that's 40. One more. Thirty-eight. Oh wait, never mind. That's supposed to be V. One oh four. Yes, that sounds right. All right. Okay, so let's go back here. I'll sh I'll share. We'll go back to drawing some of those triangles uh, of a given type here. Uh, okay, so if you're seeing my screen here, there you are. Okay, is this an obtuse triangle as is? Um. Obtuse means greater than 90 no. degrees. No. So I got to drag one of them. Uh, well, let me see if I can get. This is kind of frustrating. Uh, there it is. Okay. Now it's obtuse. Isosceles means what about the sides or angles? We've been doing a bunch of those. Two sides have to be the same. Is that the case here? Sort of in a. Weird yeah. way it worked out nicely. Yeah, it did. All right. Submit that. All right. Next problem here. Okay. So isosceles right triangle. Right's kind of that the angle keyword. Figure that out. What does that mean? Um, 90 degrees. 90 degrees. So let's see which one can I, I think I can get this one. 
there it is. Okay. Isosceles means what about the sides again? And do we have um, that here? Yeah, we have them. Yes. Kind of nice that that worked out. Okay. Scalene obtuse. Is this no. obtuse? No. So I'll drag that in. Now it's now it's obtuse because of that angle right there. Is it scalene as is? Yes. It is because all sides are different. So that should work. Scalene obtuse. Is this obtuse? Mm, over 90. So I'll drag that one in. Now is it scalene? Yes. It is. All the sides are different. All the angles are different. Okay, what do we got here? Acute. Acute that is not equilateral. Okay, so is this acute? Yes. It is. Isosceles means that two angles are the same or two sides are the same. Yeah. We actually have it right off the bat there. wonder how that worked out. All right. Well, I think we've uh, accomplished your goal here. Um, you know, we could maybe look into this, but uh, not sure how much we can get into. Um, what about stuff down here? Is this kind of just, you just, you'll get to it when you get to it? What's, what's your plan here for this other stuff? Um, um, I don't know. I don't know if I can turn that in anymore. Okay. I mean, the nice, I mean, I'm seeing due date of May 13th, which is nice. Uh, uh -huh. for Mrs. Warren, Mr. Warren here. Um, a lot of his stuff says that, but he can't, he's, he, he can't put it into the grade book anymore. I see. I see. So what about 6.2? Like, is that upcoming? Yeah. All right. Like next week, next. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. um, is it okay if we go ahead and stop here for today? Yeah. All right. Well, let's do that here. Let me go ahead and stop the recording here.